Hey everyone, so welcome to this free guide on how you guys can actually hire a virtual assistant on a platform like Upwork. VAs are so important for any online business. I truly think that if you're not taking advantage of hiring a VA that's overseas, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of growth in your company. VAs can basically do anything that you don't really wanna do yourself, and they can really make your life as an entrepreneur a lot easier. So Upwork is basically a marketplace for freelance writers, graphic designers, web developers, assistants, and much more. Employers like you that are looking to hire have the option of using the basic free plan or the paid plan that starts at about $50 a month. Now, I've never paid for Upwork myself, so I'll say that the free plan is gonna be enough for almost all of you guys. The tough part about using Upwork is that there are so many people on the platform, which can be both good and bad when looking for the right person to hire. So one cool thing about Upwork is that you can actually hire a VA to get work done for you. We'll talk about some of these strategies that I use to hire people. And yeah, like like I mentioned earlier, I really recommend it to any entrepreneur that's looking to optimize their time and scale their business. You'll basically reduce your workload and give yourself more time to focus on core business functions and higher level activities that push your business forward. In addition to that, it can of course help you get more work done in less time than if you're just handling everything yourself. Some other benefits of using a VA virtual assistant are savings on operational costs, fresh new perspectives and ideas, supercharged productivity through increased accountability, and increased organization. So I I have a few guidelines that I like to follow when I'm looking to hire a VA. The first thing I look at is whether or not they read and understood my proposal through the response to my job posting. After that, I take a look at the applicant's profile as well as any reviews that they have so that I can sort of have an idea of what I'm getting into beforehand. After that, I will look at their work samples to see if it's a match for what I'm looking for. If they pass the first three steps, I'll usually reach out for an interview to see if they're a good fit. In addition to my pre-screen, here are four other criteria that I use when hiring a VA. So they must be an expert or at least have experience in the field that I need assistance with. They must be detail-oriented and organized, communicative and friendly friendly and flexible and willing to adapt to my needs as the employer. However, the most important of all the criteria is that they must have a willingness to learn new skills and take on new challenges. This is so important because as an employer, I am looking for staff that are looking to grow with me. If they show an eagerness to take on new challenges and learn new things, this could lead to bigger opportunities for them in the future and allow them to move past their role as a VA and maybe into some type of leadership position that they help build. So just think about all the mundane tasks that you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And think, wouldn't your life be a lot easier if you had someone overseas that you could pay maybe, let's say four, five, six dollars an hour to and have them handle that for you so that you can focus on the bigger picture. So right now I'm gonna take you guys through Upwork and show you guys how to use the platform to find your virtual assistant. All right, so here's the inside of my Upwork dashboard. I just sort of wanna show you guys what it looks like first before we go into how you can find your VA. And you guys can see, you can have your job postings right here. Uh, one cool thing is that if you do have team members that you want to help you, you know, find people, you guys can actually click this and you can uh, add them here using their email address. You can allow whoever you invite to actually hire uh, and pay with your account. So I've done that with my assistant and it uh, definitely does help a lot. Here you're gonna see some of your contracts with some of the people that you guys have hired and you can see I have no active job posts. So if I do wanna post a job, I can click here, post job. It'll have you select short-term or part-time work or longer-term work. So you'll choose whatever you want. I'll click continue here and then you're going to create a title for your job post. Let's say I wanna do virtual assistant for YouTube channel. It'll try and guess what job category I'm hiring in. So general virtual assistants. Yes, that sounds about right. So I'll click next. Then I'll be able to add up to 10 different skills that I want them to have, right? So it's gonna, you know, try and guess some popular skills that most people want. So social media marketing, Great skill. YouTube, virtual assistants, data entry, researcher maybe. And yeah, you guys can choose whichever skills you want uh, your hire to have. And then you'll click next. It's gonna ask you how long will the work take? So you guys will choose uh, whatever matches it. So let's say I wanna hire a you know, long-term VA. I'll click more than six months. It's gonna ask me what level of experience I need. Let's say I want intermediate. And then I'll click next location. Here you're gonna be able to select US only or uh, worldwide. Of course, if you're in the US um, and you wanna hire someone from the US, it's gonna cost more money, right? If you want to actually take advantage of the exchange rates and, and the US dollar, uh, we can actually click worldwide. That's gonna be a lot more affordable. I can select what regions I want, but I'll just click next budget. You can set your budget. So let's say I want to uh, select four to $8 
per hour. And then it's gonna allow me to review the job post. Here, I'm gonna be able to describe the job. So any job description I have. Obviously, this is just an example. So I'm not gonna write out a full job description, but you do wanna be pretty uh, descriptive in the tasks that this person is gonna be doing. You can attach a file if you want. Make sure all this stuff looks correct. You guys can add screening questions if you want. Any advanced preferences, uh, job post preferences. And you can actually invite talent. Uh, you guys can do this after creating your job post or you can do it right now. You can see it, it wants me to have over 50 characters for the description. That makes a lot of sense. I'm just gonna put in some random stuff and then you'll click post your job now. Now one part about Upwork that I really like is you guys can come up here to talent and click discover. It's gonna take you to this page. You guys can browse through here or you guys can go up here and search virtual assistant. Here you can select if you want to only look at people that are based in the US, but I'm not gonna select that. Over here, you guys can look at different specific categories. Uh, you can choose the talent type. So what I recommend doing is uh, choosing freelancers only. Here you can select the hourly rates. Um, so let's say you wanna pay under $10 an hour. I'll click on that. And yeah, it's gonna filter by these two different things that I have selected. And you can see uh, here are some of the people that offer VA and I can scroll through here. I can uh, just sort of look to see if there's anything that I think is promising. The things of course that you should look for are the location. So you can see this person is in the Philippines. You can see their rate right here, how much money that they've earned on Upwork as well as the percent job success, right? So you can see that this person, Kathleen is obviously top rated. She's made a lot of money. She probably has a lot of experience. So if I click on her, here you can see some of the things that she does. So she's a customer service rep, a virtual assistant, or she does data entry and her rate is uh, $5 an hour. You guys can click on this to see some more information information about her. You guys can see, you know, her English seems pretty solid. Here you can see her work history, how much she's made from that job and the rate that she worked at. She may have a portfolio. So these are some of the things that she's worked on, some of her skills, as well as her employment history right here. So if you think this person might be a good match, you guys can actually invite them to that job that you just created, or you can click this heart button and sort of uh, add them to your favorites list. So you guys can see these are some of the lists that I've created, but if I want to create a new list, Let's say for a VAs, and I can create list and add her to that favorite list under VAs. You can also just click hire right here if you want to directly just hire her. You guys can tweak all these different things depending on how much you want to pay, the weekly limits, allowing them to log time manually if you want, as well as the start dates. You guys can put the work description right here and then you can click continue. But yeah, super easy to use platform, you guys. It's not only limited to hiring VAs. As you guys can see, you can literally hire any type of job for your business. You guys can hire bookkeepers, you guys can hire web designers, website builders, whatever it is. Once you create a job listing, other people are going to be able to see that and actually apply to it directly. What I also recommend doing is just going through here, uh, searching up VAs and then manually inviting people that you think could be a good fit for your company. But yeah, that's the easy part. The hard part is actually, you know, combing through the applicants and figuring out who's going to work best for your company. It can take a while to hire someone that is a perfect fit, but I promise you guys, once you find someone that is a good fit for your company, they're going to be able to take a lot of workload off of your shoulders so that you can focus on the more important, bigger picture tasks. So there you have it, how to hire a VA on Upwork. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to share with a friend. Feel free to reference it at any point in the future. And also like and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials helping you build your business. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next video.